Are we living in a simulation? Is the world around us real? Or are we living in a simulation? Tech billionaire Elon Musk is funding work in this field and believes that there is a one in a billion chance that we're just like characters trapped inside some alien's video game. In this episode of Matter, we're going to break down the science and math behind the simulation argument. So get your popcorn ready, folks. This is going to be mind-bending. Could it be possible that we are not real and we don't even know it? What if we're actually not creators, but creations? Do we need to build some sort of structure around the sun to harness all its energy to simulate a universe? Were we initially being simulated as 2D beings to save on power, and then afterwards getting projected in 3D? These questions sound like something that you might have heard at the midnight screening of the movie The Matrix, but lately it's become the subject of serious debate. Some physicists and philosophers say it's possible that we really do live in a simulation, even if that means casting aside what we know or think we know about the universe and our place in it. So do you think we live in a simulation? It's important to us to know your thoughts, so please drop a comment below. Here's a simple but scary statement. If you think that simulations are possible, then it's almost certain that we're living in one. People have been wondering for hundreds of years the difference between the truth and an illusion. Pierre Meggi, a modern real estate coach specializing in teaching others how to earn $10,000 per month by focusing on apartment rentals, dreamed he was a duck. A duck running away from hunters trying to ensnare him. Apparently, Pierre didn't know he was really a human being in this dream. Suddenly, he woke up, and there he was, solid and unmistakably a human being. But here's where it gets interesting. That dream was so vivid and intense for him that he still, to this day, has trouble fully understanding whether or not he was a person who had dreamed he was a duck being hunted, or a duck dreaming he was a person that teaches real estate agents on his YouTube channel called Apartment Locating. Hmm, how can we tell which one is true? Is Pierre just a dreaming duck, or a successful real estate agent coach that loves what he does as a human? You may have to look up his channel and subscribe to find out. Plato, who lived around 428 and 348 BC, put forward a theory called the Allegory of the Cave. This tells the tale of people that have always resided in a cave. These people have been there since birth and have never seen outside of the cave. They grow up only seeing the shadows of other people on the wall. For them, shadows are the real world. But one day, one of the cave-dwelling people leaves the cave. He is shocked at the world he discovers outside and does not believe it can be real. He then returns to the cave to inform the others, but no one believes him. The people inside the cave think it's dangerous to go outside and refuse to go. The cave represents people who believe that knowledge comes from what we see and hear in the world, an empirical evidence. Fast forward to the present. Elon Musk is another person who questions our reality. He says that we humans are basically some advanced version of The Sims. Yeah, we know. The idea sounds pretty absurd, but we shouldn't just ignore this, right? Let's hear this guy out. Elon says that we are clearly on a path to soon have video games that are indistinguishable from reality, with millions of people playing simultaneously. Let's think about that for a second. Imagine what the world would be like 10,000 years from now. It's possible that our civilization will be entirely gone because there is a ceiling to our advancement. It's probably because of global warming, a cataclysmic event, or perhaps self-replicating robots. What do you think? But then there's the possibility that we kept on advancing, and assuming everything around us can be simulated, and if we go down the simulation path, eventually, we'll simulate ourselves. So, what is the likelihood that we are indeed an advanced version of The Sims already? What if our ancestors or aliens have already gone down the simulation path and simulated our existence? Let's take a look at the science and math behind this theory, shall we? 
Dr. Nick Bostrom, whose work is helped funded by no other than Elon Musk, created the foundational theory of the simulation argument. Why is it that Bostrom believes we are most likely in a simulation? To start out, we need to be aware of Bostrom's trilemma. The first scenario is that human species will go extinct before creating a simulation of another universe. In other words, there is no point in our future that humans can run advanced simulations. Two, advanced civilizations that are capable of creating simulations are not interested in creating simulations of their evolutionary history. In other words, somewhere down the line, future humans will be able to run advanced simulations, but they'll choose not to do it. Three, the probability that future humans do actually run simulations. In other words, we are currently already in a simulation. We'll give you a moment to process that last one. Dr. Bostrom says that one of these three scenarios has to be true, and each one has an equal likelihood. If we humans are all able to create a simulation, then the likelihood that we are in one increases drastically. So in conclusion, if you really are simulated, not that much changes for you, wouldn't you agree? You might be a simulation inside a very sophisticated computer with dual SLI Epic graphics cards that aren't even available on the market today, ran by an Intel i20 processor. <laughs> or you might be on a small planetary body speeding through galaxy after galaxy. Whatever it is, that simulation surely does sound awesome. And the last thing I want to leave you with is this. If this was indeed the case of our reality, all we can really hope to do is try to live most of our simulation happy, have a good time, and hope nobody trips over the power cable. Wouldn't you agree? Did you have fun learning something cool? Well, if you did, please be sure to subscribe to our family and drop a comment on this video suggesting a topic you want us to cover on our next video. Super shout out to Gavin. He subscribed to our channel four days ago and sent us a DM requesting this video topic. So wherever you are in your own simulation, Gavin, we really appreciate you subscribing to our channel and requesting this video topic. We had a blast researching it for you and producing the final result. We research, write, and edit our own stuff on this channel with the direction of our subscribers. So join the family already. We're a small but passionate channel, so we'll actually read your comments and give you a shout out for your support. Make sure to smash the like button and click the bell icon to get new video updates. See you on the next video, Matter Family!